Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games and the noisiest sprites on the floor playing <laughs> pinball. Uh, tonight we have an exclusive world premiere of Spiders and Flies. Ooh, ooh. That's why the Brazilians are out unmasked. Yay! Welcome, Brazilians. Welcome. Uh, it is from Game Select uh, slash Ricardo Pim. Um, so we'll be playing that first. We'll also be playing Tanks 2022 by Ford Apocalypse. Yes. Also an updated version of 1942 um, by a whole bunch of people nice. that have contributed to it. I want to thank all the uh, Twitch subscribers who are scrolling down the side there. Mm -hmm. 8-Bit Swami on the Fur Arkham H7, Arms Guard Coder, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari's Maximus, BR Pocop, Buck Owens, Cat, 000, Shal Sidoni Mal, Charles Wheelan, Chai 5, Cubanismo, Cyrano Reboot, Danny C. Day Arl, 1970, Dr. Mook, House Fox, Mold, The Great Defender, Johnny W.C., Carl G., Ken Jennings, Invader, Kev Kelly, Crocco, Lauren TDZ, Marco Yanis, Mark Space Inc., Metal Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, M.K. Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Nostalgic, Pack Rack, Coog, RC70, Rundered, Ghost, Prendless, Fiji, Ricardo Spam, Six Sweet, you're on there! Congratulations. Smitty B. Spice of our S. Ramirez, the D Train, the Lost Carter, the Welshman, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, Trek MDX, Ken X. If you want to be on that list, support the show, you can. Yes. Just click subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. Mm -hmm. If you have that. If you don't have that, it's not free. You have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a poll question yep. uh, tonight. Mm -hmm. And it is. Let me get it going here. Oh, where is it? There it is. Let's start the poll. Mm -hmm. It's prime day today. Uh, <laughs> how big is your Atari 2600 classic cartridge collection? Classic. <laughs> it can include doubles. So just count up the carts mm. or carts in boxes. <laughs> uh, the options are one, <laughs> yeah. zero, emulation only. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any carts whatsoever. Yeah. That's a possibility. That is certainly a possibility. Not and everyone wants the clutter. Cubanismo says yes. they have zero. Not everyone uh, wants the clutter. Option two is one through 50. Mm -hmm. Option three is 51 through 100. Option four is 101 through 250. And um, option five is unlimited, <laughs> which is 250 plus. Charles Whelan, if you have to say, give me a few hours, then number five might be the answer for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to go for five. Oh, thank you for subscribing, hey, Burl Burl Ives. Ives. Isn't that a singer? It from is from a long uh, time ago. Uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Ah. I think Burl Ives sang um, uh, some of the songs off of that. So that's what so I remember. My answer is five. I have, an, I have 286 classic cartridges. Do you really? Five of them are combat. I'll give you that. Five. <laughs> You but only one repeats. of them are Pac-Man, so oh, there you go. it kind of weighs itself out. That's a lot of carts. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even realize you had that many carts. That's just twenty-six hundred carts. <laughs> that doesn't count the seventy-eight hundred, fifty, two hundred. Yeah. All, so all the rest of them. So do you want to touch on how you've picked those up over the years? Oh, quickly, yeah. Um, mostly flea markets in the mid '90s. So early days. I would say a good eighty percent flea markets. Value Village. Yeah. Value Village had a huge bin of twenty six hundred carts all the time. Really. And I would buy at the flea markets and Value Village any cartridge I did not already have. Yeah. So you just. I would just. Fill oh, I don't have out. that. Pick. Yeah. Didn't have that. Yeah. Pick. <laughs> I didn't care what it was. <clears throat> as long as I didn't have it, I would buy it. Yeah. And that's why I have hundreds of you have a lot cartridges. Because yeah, yeah, now go. they're like mm, five dollars each minimum usually. Yeah. I would say you can get them for a dollar, two dollars, fifty cents. If you find even. them, yeah. If you find them or yeah. buy in bulk, but they're around. I noticed. $5 I noticed each. that the used stores now they have a time. They 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 don't have a lot of the what I would call the real retro stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. A lot of that, like they might have a few, but it's there was a time when there were tons, and now it seems like there's there's a lot less of oh, the older systems. Tiny piles. Tiny piles, if, if they have and any. then a lot yeah. more of the more newer retro. But they put out what they sell. I mean, then they absolutely. buy what they sell. It, absolutely. So yeah. you know, not many people are going in for twenty six hundred. And they're games. not buying and selling them probably very no, much. No, all yeah. of us people who collect them have them already. Most of the ones we wanted. Yeah. Because we started collecting them early. Mm. There's not many other people who are collecting them, but yeah. still out there. Mm. So we got a lot of uh, mostly people either have one through 50 or more than 250. 
<laughs> we'll take a look at that later. Yeah. Uh, Vitoko has a question. Did you pick a better looking one of any that you already yes, had? Yes. I did. I think I did mark down like, oh, this label is trashed. Yeah. I will buy a better one. Yeah. Yeah. And I did venture out and go, oh, I don't have this variant of combat. Yeah. Like those five combat cartridges are not, are not the same. Okay. Looking. Sure. Because some of them, they have early, <laughs> uh, just the number, just the lettering on them. And okay. then there's the picture picture label and yeah. there's different variants of yeah. them so i would i would do that i would yeah. keep track of that yeah a little bit because you can go Crazy. out of control oh yeah yeah is, oh there's the pal variant and then yeah. there's all the pirated versions yeah. and then there's the brazilian version yeah. there's the zellers <laughs> version. versions and there's the, the zellers, zellers. Version, which what is about actually sears? a collection uh, no, no. Sears? Zellers put their own out. Is it Sears, Sears? or is it Zellers? Zellers is the I Canadian. Uh, is Canadian. Yeah. So, so was Sears there Zellers? Zellers? Was there a Canadian? Yeah, there was a line of them that had really weird pictures on them. Okay. Like they did their own cartridges. Really? And put out their own cartridges and licensed them. But they had Which the one was games. it? Sears or, Sears or Zellers or was it kind of both? How many Canadians remember. are there out there? Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't no, think Sellers... A, no, that's Zellers the thing. In the People States? know about it in the U.S. Oh, these, these I don't cartridges. know. I don't know. Stellar uh, Trek. Huh? Yeah. Um, and sometimes they renamed them too. It was just super weird. I do, I do have a bunch of those as Off-brand well. names. Off-brand. Yeah. <laughs> Off-brand. Um, Zellers. See, I was right. Mm. Well, Zellers has the crazy one. Thank you. They were Canadian. Zellers up in Kinnikistan. They exactly. Are, they are collector's items. The really? Zellers versions of Atari games. Huh. And yeah. I have a bunch because we live in Canada. They're, they're more common here. Yeah, Zellers was essentially like, I would call it the Kmart of Canada. Yeah. I mean, we had Kmart too. <laughs> so we had two. But but it was it was much more on the Kmart end of the scale than like another kind of department store. Sears was a bit more upscale. Sellers yeah. was more like Kmart, Walmart kind of open. Not a lot of fanciness in the stores. And no, open it was shelves the basics. and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we went to an arcade. We went to Vancouver Island on Va the weekend. Yeah, to, to Victoria. Victoria. Yeah. Uh, and we went to an arcade yeah. when we were there. It was uh, really nice. Yeah. Quasars Arcade. And there's the uh, there's the sign to go down. It was. Uh, Below ground, yeah. Below ground, yeah. yeah. Kind of in the main d downtown area of Victoria, yeah, we went the more with, touristy area. Well, met up with some friends there. Yeah, there's me playing Galaga. Woo, Galaga. Not doing great. I think I had eighty thousand my best game. Yeah, 80 you something. didn't do too bad, but eh, yeah. yeah, over a hundred, and I'm happy. Um, and there's my friend Corey. There's a stranger in the background. Yeah. Uh, there I am playing Galaga some more. Yeah. There's Tanya playing, taking the pictures. Here's Tanya playing. Yeah. Um, playing some Galaga. I did very good on Tapper. Uh, I don't, I think I played it after that because I think I've tried to put my okay. name in. Okay. Yeah. Um, I did okay on Burger Time. Um, I did very good on Tron. Yeah, you were um, saying. Better than I'd ever done, which is not very good. Yeah. I almost made it to level three. Um, but I rarely play the arcade version. So, uh, And there's us in front of the tapper. Mm -hmm. had a um, a thing for your foot. You could put your foot up on it. Oh. Like, oh, like lean at a, it up. Like at a, I, like bar. At a bar. Oh, yes. that is hilarious. Yeah. So I thought that was yeah. really, really cool. Um Open the mail. Let's see what I've got in the mail. So first off, I have a uh, an ST link. Um, this can connect to boards for reprogramming. Okay. In case they don't flash correctly, or if you have a blank one, you can flash it with the initial firmware. Oh, I see. Okay. So that if it has a USB port, can you can flash it. it later. Yeah. Okay. But it has to have initial firmware, and how you get that on is you connect That's this how to the to computer, get the firmware. and you kind of upload it. Oh, okay. So I've read over and over again, if it goes bad, like your cartridge goes bad and you can't boot it anymore, yeah. you have to have one of these to kind of revive it. Um, so it's going to be handy okay. in the future. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, I also bought some uh, Flux yep. for working on my 5200s. For doing some to upgrade crappy them. soldering. Yeah. <laughs> some crappy soldering, some terrible soldering. Soldering takes a lot of practice, I find. It does. I'm... Yeah barely able to do it how yeah. about that that's my level of yeah of ability right now uh let me go to the chat again yeah. chalcedony mouse says geez i'm bopping along to the tron music and it's not even playing <laughs> <laughs> it's in your head huh yeah 
So let's see what is in this package. I didn't cross out my address, so I've got to make sure I keep it to myself here. It is from Limited Run Games. Yes. Let's see what it is. It is a game called Infernax. Oh, and the Angry Video Game Nerd 1 and 2 Deluxe. <laughs> I know what this one's about. It's a platformer that's insanely hard. Yeah. And it's made to be, Very you know, hard. Nintendo hard is, yeah. is the term mm -hmm. for platformers. And Infernax looks like a um, Castlevania type game. Nice. Yep, so. So modern games. Uh, modern with a retro, retro feel. Yeah, with and that's what I usually feel. buy. Yeah, is, if we buy new games, yeah. Or. Sometimes we buy like RPGs or what? what's the game we've been playing lately? Oh, I mean, it's a world building game. We've been playing Oxygen Not Included. Yes. Uh, which was in part of the Steam sale. And so when the Steam yes. sale came up, we bought a couple. We games, were watching we? a few videos on like games worth buying. Modern Retro. Good name. Yeah. Modern Retro. Yes. Thank you, ITC. Um, and I love world building games like Civilizations. And this one came up and we got it. And I think you might be as addicted as I am. Yes, game. it goes really deep and that's intimidating. It's extremely intimidating. You literally build a whole functioning civilization in an asteroid and then you have to like build a rocket ship. But it's very like you're building ventilation systems and water systems and eventually you build like a rocket platform. Yeah. And, and you have to. There's radiation and you have to keep people happy and fed and, and, to, it, it's, it's and grow things. Yeah, terraforming. Underground. Terraforming. Underground right. terraforming. Underground terraforming. Yeah. It's very cool. Super cool. Uh, it, it gets. It's like SimCity gone crazy. And like you watch videos and it is very intimidating because I get to a certain <laughs> point where I feel a little overwhelmed, especially if you're building plumbing and ventilation <laughs> and electrical systems. Yeah. And, and like I get to a point right now where I'm hitting a bit of a wall where it's like, oh, this feels like, this feels like I need a course in it. <laughs> and they have you know lots what of I mean? video courses too. <laughs> they do. Dungeon Keeper without the evil. Yeah. Your own enemy yeah. is yourself for not building it well. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then, and yeah, and you kill people accidentally or you do something you're not, oh, <laughs> someone's playing. Uh, anyway, very fun game. If you like that kind of game, highly recommended by both of us. Yes. Very complicated game. Yeah, if you like that type um, of game, that is an ultimate. It, it's very, and it has a, topic. it has a bit of a kind of a pixelated look to it. Yeah, it's, a it's, little it's, pixelated. It, it has a bit it's, of a retro, retro feel to it. Yeah. Um, but we've been playing that a lot, and then I got a few DLC for a couple of games I had. Oh, so that's what it that was. That was the Steam sale. I got DLC for Civ, and I got Civ. Uh, what are we up to now? More Six, world seven, building, whichever is the latest kind one of. Is. Yeah. And um, uh, Outer Worlds DLC uh, that I didn't have, which I've been holding off on completing because I don't like getting to the end of really big games. <laughs> like I stop. I haven't. Yeah. I haven't completed Breath of the Wild because I want to make sure I do all the things before all the side I do quests. the end. So, but when you get the DLC, the I get, feel a little better. You gotta help out the villagers to collect the wheat first before you, you take the on the ultimate. Get all the Nern, Nern root you can find. <laughs> before you take on the I'm ultimate evil of the world. I'm terrible that way. I never complete them, even though I'm right at the end. So I mentioned it briefly on another show yeah. that I have purchased a Lynx, yes. an Atari Lynx. Yes. Uh, version 2, and it's being consoleized and upgraded and modded uh, by Consolized. Igor at Atari Gamer. Oh, nice. And so we're going to take a look at some pictures because he's been starting to post pictures and send me pictures of it. Um, so you can see here the stand he's made for me. Um, and it rests on there, so I'll be able to put it uh, down there to plug it into the system. Mm -hmm. um, and it has two magnetic clip connectors. One is for VGA out. Okay. And the other one is for a nine pin adapter for the for a controller. Oh. And normally what it's adapted for is a two is a uh, six button Genesis, I believe what they usually do it for. Okay. Uh, or two button Genesis. Well, the three button slash two button because it only uses two buttons on the links. But I specific, I um, asked him if it could be done for a 7800 controller, because that's my wheelhouse more than the Genesis. Mm -hmm. And he looked at it and said, yes, that can be done. Mm -hmm. So I'll be able to use these types of controllers that I have a ton of already, a 7800 two-button controllers. 
uh, for the Atari Lynx. Mm. Um, you can take a look at some more guts. There is the adapter. There's the magnetic adapter for the nine pin. Um, there's some open, there it is playing. Oh, maybe no, that's the VGA. Sorry, that is the VGA. Psst, bad cats. He's See. chewing on the Velcro tie on of Velcro. one of the cords. He's not chewing on the cord. Yeah. He uh, likes it games use <laughs> uh, option one and two buttons. Uh, out of luck, uh, I guess. Um, also, it has been modded for five volt power. So it doesn't volts. have to run on batteries. Oh, wow. So I can plug it in. And that's, have it run continuously, have it run. not worry about the battery running yeah. out while you're playing. So that's the whole consoleizing of it. Oh, I see. It plugs in, it has video out, it has controller out, and that's really the only way you can consoleize a handheld device, right? So all you need now is something to attach a Bluetooth controller, and you basically have a they switch. They do have Bluetooth controllers for 9-pin. I already have those, so... Oh, for 9-pin. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you've turned the Atari Lynx into, <laughs> into a, a switch. switch. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Wonderful. That's, right. that's awesome. <laughs> so there's, there's... That's the coolest thing I've ever heard of. There's that's the magnetic amazing. connector. You can see it up close there. Wow. And it just goes right on there. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Uh, uh, there, there's both of them. Okay. One the, for the controller and one for the video out. I guess I better not mix them up because they look exactly the same. <laughs> they look similar, yeah. yeah. Uh, and there it is, playing Pac-Land. Mm. Uh, see, A for one player, B for two players. I'll just have to skip the option one and two buttons. Mm -hmm. Or just reach over, like I have to do for other consoles. I have to do that for the We're 2600. Used We're used to it. I have to do it for the 7800. I have to do it a lot for the 8-bit because it's a computer. Yeah. They tend to use more stuff like that. But I'm very excited. He's getting very close. I think he's done everything except for the uh, nine pin mm. uh, joystick adapter. So looking forward to that. Big, huge thank you to Igor at Atari Gamer. Mm -hmm. um, so very soon we'll be starting our Atari Classic playthrough yeah. of every single Atari 2600 classic game. From 1977 to 1992. It's going to be interesting. Um, and we'll be playing it from whenever we start all the way through to September 11th, which is okay. the 45th anniversary okay. of the Atari 2600. Okay. So we thought we would celebrate the 2600 nice. by playing every game out there. Nice. That was released on cartridge. So we won't be playing prototypes because they weren't released for the public during mm -hmm. the run. They were found afterwards. Um... And we will also be playing PAL games, PAL-only games, mm -hmm. probably through uh, emulation. <laughs> ben Heck. Chal Meow. And you're not allowed to sleep until you've played them all. <laughs> uh, I've estimated it to be about 40 hours total, so that oh, is doable. Really? Oh, we're not doing that. We're not doing it, no. but it is doable. <laughs> Uh, not we'll, all one marathon. No. no. We'll be allotting no. about five minutes oh per goodness. game. Yes. We'll be um, boom, to give boom, a boom, little boom. bit, and like we would be able to play most games or understand them or get into some of them, we will not be able to get very far in five minutes. Eh, not much we can do. Um, so the first stream, which is going to be coming up very, very shortly, because we have to get moving on this. Yes. Because there's two months. Two months to do it Which all. is eight weeks. Yeah. Which is not much time. So we have to do about two. Five hours a week. Two a week. Yeah. Okay. About five hours a week. Okay. Um, so we're going to be doing 1977 and 1978 on the first stream. Okay. It seems like we're going to speed through it. There were not many games released in oh, 77 Oh, I bet, I bet the early days. Yeah, I bet it ramped yeah. up later. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> that's it. going to be... Uh, maybe we'll do that another time. <laughs> not at all one marathon. It's not a marathon. We'll do it for the 50th. How about that? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. If we're around. Or do the same thing with all, all the homebrew that's come out. Oh, for the 50th. Oh, that's way more intimidating. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's over 100 no, every year no, released for the 2600. That's true. That's, that's very good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, playing 2600 today. Let's yeah. put that up. Thank Yay. you for subscribing 19, Atari 1974. Yay. Um, Are you going to put a list of all the ones we're going through? Uh, have I, you listed them? Like, have you done I'm, that yourself? Like, I've done the first episode and I've got the rest going. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You don't have one ongoing list of them all then? Uh, I, I will do that because <laughs> I can't find one that has put it in actual perfect order. So yeah. I might as well do it because I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. And then you can post it and you can see yeah. where we're at in the list as we get through yes. it too. 
Yes, yeah. all published ones on cart. That's pretty much what published we're doing. Published on cart, yeah. 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 Um, so the member map on Atari Age works now. Mm -hmm. When I first joined Atari Age, I noticed they had a member map. Mm. Um, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. I'll put, I'll put myself on it. Mm. Didn't work. Um, <laughs> so somebody, and I posted like a couple years ago, hey, the member map doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. I guess it broke somewhere along the way. Mm. Um, but somebody posted, hey, it works now. Just right click on it, which I'm pretty sure did not work before. Okay. <laughs> because you move the map and that comes up and edit location comes up. Okay. Which is how you put yourself on there. But it's a really cool map because it puts it in dots. So you see, oh, there's 16 people in mm. Australia, five in South America. Hey, Brazilians. Get on. <laughs> um, and 456 in North America. So you click in the 456. Nice. Oh, let's zoom in on, on the, west, the coast. west Coast. Oh, nice. Uh, so Seattle. I don't know. Yeah, because it might be in goes up to Vancouver. Three, does it? So we'll go there. Oh, uh, there you go. One of four. Four in there Vancouver. Two in Vancouver proper. There you go. And there we are downtown. Yeah. <laughs> we don't we don't live there. Yeah. Um, but I'm not putting my house where it is. Yeah. Um, so there's a couple people around here. There's nice. a couple on the uh, two on the island. Nice. Uh, super charger don't, don't, games. Don't 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 show the direct <laughs> location. I Anybody don't think. can look at this. I know, but still. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll be playing supercharger games. Not on a supercharger because I don't have one. It's ten. No. It's no, just... I'm. That's why it's just one. Yeah. yeah. It's zero page homebrew. Yeah. <laughs> We're both We're on under there. the same umbrella, but yeah. <laughs> she doesn't have any. I would just thing use to this say. <laughs> if I had to post something on there. I think. So if you're on Atari Age and you haven't put your location it's there, neat. it's kind of cool. You, you don't have to put exactly. You can where put you are. it vaguely where you are. Yeah, because yeah. I just put Vancouver. You just put smack in the middle of downtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, we're which around is that fair area. Enough. Yeah. Oh, we've got a few people in Kelowna too. Very nice. Oh, three, probably more three in Kelowna. Where are they all? Oh, one um, in Vernon, Vernon and a couple in Kelowna. Very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah, we're yeah. just in Kelowna a little while ago. Very nice. Um, Edmonton too. Wow. Oh, that's yeah, so that's there's very some cool. Canadians. Let's yeah. see. Uh, uh, Winnipeg, Edmonton. Foreign Edmonton. No Cal Calgary. Yeah, that's Calgary right up there. No, it's not. Oh. That's Peace River. Calgary's Oops, below. below. There you go. I should know. Peace River. Nobody in Calgary. Nobody in Calgary. Or at least Prince One in Prince Albert. Three in Winnipeg. Two. I bet there's a bunch in Ontario. Two in Winnipeg. Oh, a few. Toronto, few in Ottawa. In several in, in Toronto. One, one in, in Quebec. One in Quebec. Three, two. Yep. Very yeah. cool. Nice. I very, like it. Very, very cool. Um, so let's look at the results. <laughs> yeah, Ricardo. Zoom in a little more and you can pinpoint the person's <laughs> If they put it right on their house, you can. Yeah. Not in this, but uh, no. On uh, well, maybe you can. I don't know. Um, so the results of the poll: thirty-two percent have one to fifty games. Okay. Uh, Twenty-five percent in second place have more than two hundred and fifty. So that's a lot. A lot of people do collect that watch the show. They've managed to collect quite a few yeah. over the years, I guess. And then seventeen percent have uh, one hundred and one to two fifty. That's still, still a lot a of lot. games. That's a lot of games. Uh, Fourteen percent have zero. That's way higher than I thought. Yeah. I thought some people well, would be like, you know, I have some cartridges lying around. Some people have spouses and yep. significant others who Get say, that out "Get of the that house. crap out of the house." <laughs> yeah. And they forever regret, you know, throwing it out. Why did I do that? Uh, yeah. yeah. And you uh, know, it's 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 clutter. It is clutter. Ten percent, fifty-one yeah. to one hundred. So. Yeah. Oh, Azura sneaks in with, with a four. With a four. Nice. That. Yeah. Um, it's time. Oh, and uh, we're gonna do an after dark tonight. Um, for the Harmony games, mm -hmm. uh, we'll be playing uh, Robot War and Mr. Yo-Yo, trying to get a high score. So stick around for that after this show. <laughs> we'll be playing them off cart because that's not the way you do it. But um, <laughs> I have them on cartridge. Nice. Um, so we'll be playing that after the regular show so you can <laughs> stick around. Yeah, it's good clutter. It's good clutter. Lots sure. of great sure, plastic. <laughs> great plastic and PCBs. As long as you have somewhere to cardboard. store it, it's fine. Harmony Games, yes, thank you, Dan, has been extended to July 26th. Nice. So okay, you can get your nice. scores in. We'll be putting in some scores. Mm. So it is time for Spiders and Flies. This is a 2002 game, just is going to be released. Um, so Game Select will be collecting orders after the show. Is ever, If anybody is interested, send an email to ataregamselect at gmail.com. 
Um, and Ricardo Pim is in the chat or in and out of the chat. Nice. Oh, there he is. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he's the developer of this. If you have any questions about the game or that email again, you can just um, message him there. Uh, this is an exclusive <laughs> world premiere of the game. I want to thank them once again, Ricardo Pim, really for nice. yeah. letting yeah. us play their yeah. game yeah. first. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good time oh, for treat time. Yeah. Get that in first. Oh, Feed okay. those cats just before we play. So we don't get interrupted. Oh, where's the uh, And I can treats? read a bit about it. Where are the treats? Oh, I took them upstairs. Here. You'll have to run. Okay. I'll oh. have to run. Torturing listen the cats. Him. Listen to him. Oh, listen to the cats. Uh, we will go over oh, <laughs> the manual while we are... Well, Tanya's not going to learn about it, but we'll go over the manual. Let me just see... Page view, zoom, display size. Oh my God. I always forget how to do it full screen. But Tanya is getting, getting the treats in the meantime. Uh, control out. There we go. <laughs> Good kitty! He figured it out! Oh my god, he went right for he it! He figured it out! That's like the first time he's done it on his, on his own! Oh my god, he, <laughs> he is like an immensely quick learner. Oh my goodness! He's like, treat, 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 treat. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Throw it, throw it was like, right it was a week ago <laughs> we showed him that and he barely he did barely it. He barely figured it out. Like with a lot of enticing. <laughs> Good kitty! Here, 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 here. Toss it for him. Oh, it's a oh, fight. Why are you tossing oh. one? You're no, so mean. No, no, I'm, I'm throwing two, but I'm trying to get him to run away because he just sits there. Ding! <laughs> he's just going to ding while he eats he, he eats it. So. Sprite is a smart kitty. Oh, my goodness. You're so smart. You're, You're so, so smart. smart. Good kitties. You're such a smart Who's kitty. Who's going to ring the bell next? We need two bells now. Did you order the extra bell? No, I haven't, but I okay. have to. <laughs> Good kitty. Over there for you. Over there for you. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Feels like that scene, scene in two thousand. Which one? It's what? like a... <gasps> what scene in two thousand one is like a cat ringing a bell. It's like it's a uh, what? Uh, no, no. It's it's what's the monkeys when they realize how to use the? Oh, they're like. Hoo, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. When they when they smash, realize how to use a tool, smash. yeah. There's oh, that's for funny. You. I'm not even, I'm just, I'm just feeding Atari because I feel like Atari's just been through so much with this little kitten. He deserves yeah. treats. Good kitty. It is remarkable. Good kitty. Oh, Very he good figured kitty. it out immediately. Good kitty. Oh, <laughs> Atari so says he doesn't smart. need to do that now. No. No, he's like, I'm retired. No, I'm retired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know Atari was ringing it for Pixel and Atari and now, now Sprite is ringing it for Atari. How friggin' cute is that? That is super cute. Oh my goodness. He, he figured it out right away. Okay, anyway. Yes, Atari was <laughs> ringing for Pixel and Atari previously. You're such a good kitty. Oops. Come here, come here, come here. Oh. Come here. Good kitty. So, uh, we're going to be kitty. playing Spiders and Flies. Here's the instruction manual, so know yep. what we're doing. Oh, yep. fluffies. He's purring. Oh. He's purring. He's so happy he got trees. On a cold and humid night, an innocent fly away from his group is lost in the forest when at one point he realizes he is surrounded by a family of hungry spiders trying to devour him. How long will he resist the attacks? Gameplay. The player will control a fly that is flowing low, tries to defend itself from the attack of the spider family. We, meanwhile, the mother spider makes sideways movements in the treetop, sending its troop of baby spiders on the attack. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it tries to get closer to the fly. Did you know that flies need to vomit in food before eating it? Yes, I did. This vomit will be the fly's defense. It's super gross. Mm -hmm. Which will be thrown at the spiders to kill the babies and delay the mother spider's advance. On the other hand, spiders respond with the attack of web balls. Oh. For some time, the baby spiders for perform coordinated attack movements, and if the fly survives them, it'll directly face the mother spider with attack of large balls of web. Mm -hmm. With each cycle of combat... With the mother spider, the baby spiders return more and more intelligent and with more coordinated attacks, making it difficult for the fly to survive. Interesting. 
So we've got the fly surrounded by the trees of the dense forest and needs to stay close to the ground where it's safest, making that lateral flights of attack and defense. Fly vomit, rep represented by a small green line. It is highly deadly for the baby flies, but not so much for the mother spider. Mm. Baby spiders are learning to hunt you. Little fly, you become the ideal target. Mm -hmm. Baby spider webs, represented by, represented by small white dots, deadly to the fly. Mother spider, cautious. It slowly advances towards the fly, much more agile when in the treetops. Mother spider's webs, much larger and deadly than the spider webs, can, they can also be destroyed by the fly's vomit. Okay. Lives, the game starts with the player having three lives represented by the three yellow squares on the left side of the scoreboard. At the end of each fight with the mother spider, the player will gain a life, not being possible to accumulate more than four. Score, blown in the center is a screen for the player to find a score. Each vomit fired with a successful hit to the target will earn a player 50 points. Each player, time the player advances the game, the score receives an increment of points multiplied by the number of times the player faced the mother spider in combat. So it'll accumulate each time you do a round. For example, at the end of the first combat, each hit will yield 100 points. When overcoming the second fight, 150 and so on. Gamer set, start a new game. Controller button can also be used to start a new game. <laughs> Couch compliant, but only if none is in progress. Other console switches are not used in the game. Okay. Joystick. Yep, move the joystick, button, shoot, fly, vomit. Once a shot is fired, a new shot can only be fired after the target is hit or mm. you vomit. So you get one shot at mm -hmm. a time. Uh, design and de uh, development, Ricardo Pem. Gameplay, Ricardo Pem and Eval Everaldo Bonifacio. Yeah. Bonifacio? I'll try. To yeah. <laughs> Some instruction manual Hopefully text, close. Ricardo. <laughs> uh, text revision, Everaldo Bonifacio and Wilson Gutierrez. Gutierrez yeah. Uh, testing, Alvarado Bonifacio, Ricardo Binsk, Saul Santia Solo Santiago, Wilson Gutierrez. Illustration and arts, Solo Santiago, hardware and graphic production, Wilson Gutierrez. Tips, oh, should we read these out? Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, we'll read those later. There's the back of the manual, very nice. Excellent, looking forward to playing it. Mm -hmm. Let's get it booted up. That's Danny Mao. I remember that from the Cronenberg film. <laughs> oh, yes, that's yes. right. He did explain Does he vomit that. on something or yes. does he explain he it? it. Uh, yeah. He explains it in the movie. Nice. That's where everybody learned that. that <laughs> About fly, that factoid. fly biology. Yeah. Yep. We learned all our fly biology from the fly. Spiders and flies? Yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. There is the spider. Ooh, that looks loud. I don't hear anything yet. No, because it hasn't started. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so you ready to play? I you am. Think you understand the instructions? I, I, I hope Shoot so. Shoot and avoid. So there's the fly at the bottom. Nice. There's the baby spiders. Oh, I was Ran trying to hit right it. Into yeah, great. <laughs> Am I supposed to be going after them, Mom? Oh, you like the socks? They are... I forget. Uh, sorry, socks. Uh, yes, you do need to shoot the mother spider because it pushes it back a bit as you shoot the shoot it. Because if you don't sh push it back... Oh, got me. Um, the spiders will be released lower and lower, which yeah. makes it much more difficult. Yeah, very nice play field with the kind of um, vines almost, the green vines. Ah! Now they're moving. Much more important to shoot the uh, baby spiders now, unless you can avoid them. But if they get down to the bottom... Donkey Kong 3, yes, very reminiscent of that. Ah! They're fine to get to the bottom. It's no yeah, problem. They don't hurt you unless they hit you. Yeah, or they shoot you with their little, little It's not webs. like they come after you if they hit the bottom. Uh, no, some games are like that. So right up that Ricardo passed me, Spiders and Flies is a, oh, 1450 not, for Not Tanya. great, not great. <laughs> is there going to be a scorekeeper tonight? Is it, are we going for high score here? Well, well uh, you'll be against me. Well. <laughs> no, no scorekeeping. Okay. <laughs> I'll do it. You can do it. Oh, thank you, Vitoko. Ah. 
Thank Dope. you. Um, so Ricardo says, Spiders and Flies is a shooting game in the best style of the Atari 2600 games released in the golden age of the console. Marking with fond memories the childhood of many, where the player's biggest concern was shooting at everything that moved. Yep. That's how you do it. Everything's the enemy. Avoid and shoot. The game was designed to have a relaxed, casual gameplay, with moderate difficult and fast progress, but the feeling of wanting more, where the player will experience the magic of facing the unknown, discovering the patterns of attack or defense, and then be able to trace their own strategy to stay alive as long as possible, fight for points, and win. Although it is currently very easy to create games with sizes of 32k or more, like the last two releases of Game Select, Asteroid Attack, Asteroids Attack, and Space Pac-Man, for Spiders and Flies, I tried to limit myself to the size of 4K as much as possible. Uh, I could easily create bonus screens, direct boss battles, stages, and whatever else my imagination allows. But by practicing this limitation, I was able to create something simple to play. Very Atari 2600 style. I hope people have fun. And that is a um, definitely a, a challenge that a lot of developers in the 2600 put themselves up against is uh, the 4K page limit of uh, creating games. Oh, you still want to shoot the spider. Oh! It's all for points. I didn't realize you could shoot the webs. I thought you just yeah. dodged them. No, shoot everything. Shoot everything. I mean, all for points, right? I was just thinking, oh, they're webs. Dodge them. <laughs> and you want to push ah! push the spider back. 2,000. Did better. Meh. Nah. Nah. Your 2, turn? 2,000. Do you have more to read? Uh, no. Um, or do you want to read? I can I can go again. Nope. Nope. My turn. All right. You played two. I played two. Shoot everything! Shoot it all! Webs or eggs egg sack. It kind of uh, looks a bit like an egg sack. It does. Uh, in the manual it says they're large webs. Yes. Pew pew! <laughs> pew pew pew! Tracking that mum fly, uh, that mum spider. Yep. Because it moves at the exact same speed as you do. I mean, you definitely want to keep it pushed back, but you also want to hit the flies, so it's the baby flies, so I, it's, I guess it's a toss up between trying to get points off the baby flies. Nah. Do you get points off the mum? Yep, way more points. Mm. 50, per, 50 per baby. I think it's 100 for the. No, you get nothing. No, no you get something. No, you get I think... 50 as well? Okay. I can't tell. Well, 1500? Nope. Get nothing. Oh, I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I'm supposed to be shooting the babies. Ah, uh, it only pushes it back. Yeah, but I mean, that but makes the game easier, so. It does. I yeah, was concentrating on I can see on that the... being, it, it is a bit of a toss-up between hitting the mother and going for points. You already beat my score, so. <laughs> Ivory Tower Collection says, Subject change, but I got my notice from Gamebox that my GBA Consolizer kit has shipped. Yay! Oh, nice. So this is the last portion of the round, and mm. then the points go up um, to 100 per Oh, enemy. so you want to get through at least one round, and then the, the... Oh, okay. Oh, this is how you do the exact part. Yeah, you got something that time from hitting the mother, I thought, when it flickered and moved oh, back. I thought so, too. Maybe if it doesn't move back, maybe if it's too high up the screen. I don't know. I, I, I was trying to track it, but it was a little hard to see exactly if you'd hit it. Extra life. Made it the round. 100 now. Right. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. If you don't get them at the top, it makes it really hard. I mean, I'm sure if you pause it, it's easy to figure out the score, but... Oh, oh going... 
diagonally now. Some of them. Oh, some of them are just coming out diagonally. Interesting. You're doing a really good job of getting most of them. That's how you get the high scores. <laughs> well, they drop as the mother goes past. I almost Ooh, died there. I, I thought you I thought <laughs> bit it there for a second. That was very close. Um, they drop down. Well, now it's a little bit harder because they're all over the yeah. place. But um, especially on the egg level, because the eggs don't go back and mm. forth. Um, there is some pattern movement going uh, as you play a little more. Yeah. Damn it. Well, you're doing really well. Reminds me a bit of an inverse um, crack pots. Mm. Yeah. Because they're bugs. Yes. And they have and different spiders. patterns. Because the black bugs in crack, crack pots, pots go straight down. And these are like kind of the blue bugs that Jump around. Kind of go back and forth a little bit. I think it's the mm. ones. Oh, I now Mario, they're going. It's a great game. Oh, these are now going. Oh, cool. They're not as dangerous. Uh, oh, now they die. Yeah, course. you don't say that out loud. That's this that's game not... is so easy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dead. Yeah. That's how you die. Why is that the case, eh? I don't know. Need to do a psychological study on that. Oh, I'm sure plenty have. <laughs> really? On declaring things going so well and I then know. they don't go well? Well, I mean... I think you relax when you say that, right? Like, oh, I'm doing well. I don't well, have to Well, most things will vigilant. eventually go badly. So well, it's yes. probably probability-wise, it's going to go badly anyway. But they always but seem to go badly right when you say Murphy's that. Murphy's Law Karma, exactly. Oh, oh, oh my God. They're pausing now. Ah. The pauses. Were they pausing before? Oh, they're making it difficult. It's a, a mix of a lot of games, Ricardo Pin says. Smurfs, Galactopus, Crackpots. Kind of some similarities between those those games. I don't know the Smurfs game. Uh, uh, ah, you oh almost my God, that was you close. almost cornered you. Ooh! Um, the Smurfs is an interesting game. It's it's I don't quite know if I played that one, yeah. decent, but it's more like a one of those pixel perfect games where you have to jump at the exact mm, right spot. Those to, those do irritate me. A little. You have to jump in the right way too. Mm. Get up, get up, 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 up. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, you are getting oh, 150 from. I think it's the same as the at the other the spiders. We'll go, we'll go. Oh my god. Oh my god. you get focused on the babies and then you forget how close the mother is getting to you. Yeah, and it gets bad when she's too far down. Oh, she bounced all the way back. Is this a new round? Yeah, a new pattern. Yeah. A new stage. Yeah, a new stage. Not a new round. Oof. Went the wrong way for that bullet. Yeah, so far, yeah, Metal Lunar agrees, concurs. Uh, same, what? same, same, same... Uh, ah! Same points as per the babies. So hitting the mother, you get the same points. That was a good round. We made it pretty far. Yeah, you pretty did. Pretty far. 26,350 J. I could have done better, but. Okay. A bit of Mega Mania as well. Oh, no, somebody's going to put it in. I think Ricardo was, was doing, oh. doing that. I can do it. Okay. Got to be quick. Too slow. Oh. Ritoko is on it. No, you get a second round. That was your first One round. One more? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is, as you might notice, very warm in this room. Twenty-six right now. and a half degrees in this room. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little warm. It's not like horribly warm, but we have a lot of lights on, and it's a, it's, it was a warm day today. It was, it must have been like twenty degrees. Twenty-three. Twenty. Oh, only. Yep. Oh, it felt so much warmer today. Felt like twenty-seven. Oh. That's what it said. Anyway. Well, then it was twenty-seven. <laughs> no. Yeah. With humidity, I guess. Yeah, with humidity, it felt pretty warm. Not the worst it's been. Not like no. last summer, where it was like 40 or something ridiculous. Oh my god. It I was crazy. It doesn't happen again. I hope that doesn't happen again either. It might, and it probably will. Well, let's we'll see. Europe is not doing well. I've heard, yes. Sorry Japan to any European. Is not doing well. European and Japanese viewers. Yes. <laughs> I hear it's very hot, yeah. Especially in Portugal, I believe. Mm. Where it's like 
upper 30s mm. and oh no up uh, mid 40s mid 40s mid, mid yeah because i was gonna say portugal's pretty hot to with start humidity, with humidity or i don't well i always like, thought they were more of a dry well. a dry yeah they're pretty south location but i don't know they're usually pretty warm the ac what is the upper floor where i work in my oh the ac is out on the upper floor where i work in my Oof. building and so i've been living with like 27.7 tent past couple weeks Oof. like it's going to be that way all summer what Oof. Oh, you need to get that AC back up and running. <laughs> uh, yes, badly. Yeah. It's bad for your health if you yeah. don't. It's a great game. It does have auto like, fire, but I it's like the background best not too. To it's it. simple, oh. but it, it just has it evokes that like scary spider web at yeah. the top of the screen, or forest, I guess. But it has a real kind of creepiness to it. I like it. Oh, oh, I knew I should no. have left it a bit. Skipped one of them. And the animation on the dropping webs. Very nice. Yeah, let's get too close. Because you kind of lag behind a tiny bit. This is like the bonus round for points. Because they're not too bad. Because they don't fire at you. And they're you. fairly big to hit. They, they're, they're very not, consistent. These aren't erratic, at least. Ooh, Kev Kelly. Hey, Kev Kelly. Hey, Kev uh, Kelly. A name I haven't seen in a little while, but um, yeah. it has been over 100 here in Florida. Rains every day. Oh, the oh. humidity of Florida is something else. Yeah, that's a um, bad combo. Heat, dry heat is almost more tolerable than a lot of oh, humidity. Yes. Oh, yeah. Just look up wet bulb temperature. And you'll know why, oh, humidity, why humidity is such a problem. Is yeah. such a problem. Yeah. Where some people go, oh, that's not that hot. Oh, it, it is, is hot. Because it's humid and it acts very differently. You can't sweat as well. I used to in, in, humidity. in my youth. <laughs> my uh, when youth. I was in my youth, in my day, I worked as a lifeguard for a long time. And we worked at outdoor pools. And they were just little wading pools in, in our public parks. Um, oh. It was a good job. But... Ah. Unlike most people, when it got really hot, we would have to work two hours of overtime into the evening. So we would normally close the parks at six, but if it was over 28 degrees, this is in Ottawa in Canada, and it, it could get hot in the summer, center of the country, um, if it was over 28, then we would stay open two hours later. But I always noticed between about 28 Celsius and around 33, which is really hot, um, you would get more and more people showing up. God. But once you hit 33, people would stop showing up because it was cooler just to stay home. <laughs> so there's there's like a limit, you know. There's like good heat, and then there's unbearable, and then there's heat. No one wants to right. like even leave the house. You know, if they have air condition or fans, they'll just sit in front of the fans. So. Um. Yeah, there's a limit. There is a limit. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. Round is not as bold. Oh, Vitoka says these have been very cold days here. So Whoa. it's different in different parts Enjoy of the world, for can. sure. Uh, yes, the game. Uh, what is this? Uh, Retro Saga games. Very nice for a 4K. Very good for a 4K. Very There's nice a lot of variation uh, in the game. you got to always take into account how large the game is. And for 4K, to have the animations of the multiple characters because mm -hmm. there's the fly there's the spider there's the tiny spiders there's the web the big webs as well mm. there's the background and there's all the variations of the movement um and the different levels as well so it's a lot packed into 4k and you kind of almost hit the limit at at what you're seeing here mm -hmm. It does help that there's only one uh, single background. Oh, that's it. Oh, no. One that's more. In reserve. One more. He did it right. He did the... Yes. He um, left. How many, how many men you have left correctly. Yeah. It's in reserve. Because it doesn't make logical sense to have one of your players... Oh, that was so close. Got to get that spider back up. Um... 
and also on the board playing at the same time. It's either in reserve or it's not in reserve. Oh, good. Back up you go. <laughs> ah, no, no! Oh, cornered. No. Did I, I don't think I did better. 2330, I know it was 20 something. You got 26 something last time, yeah. I think, so. Okay, my turn. Me, me, me. 26, yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna end, probably. You'll do that, better than but... last time. Ah, I will take my Oh, head and, and all the sounds, too, yes, that's right. All the variety of sounds. Crown Trooper says he likes his Arizona dry heat. I agree. I'd rather it feel more like an oven than a, I don't know, a <laughs> boiling pot of water. <sighs> <laughs> yes. Those are good, um, good analogies, actually. That's <laughs> what it feels like. Yep, you feel like a your... lobster boiling in a pot sometimes. <sighs> Either you put your face in the oven or you put your face over a boiling hot pot, uh, pot of water. And uh, you're taking a lot of risks. I'm not good. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm, I, 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 as you say, uh, Vitoko mentioned there's a pattern to where they're dropped. It's it's where the spider is, really. I know, but I'm having trouble. <laughs> are they released at... They are released at regular intervals. I mean, that oh. kind of goes out the window when they start going sideways, because it just completely throws it off. Um, so, we went to the arcade on Sunday. What games did I play? Um, the ones you saw in the picture. So, um, Miss Pac-Man was on super speed, which is awesome. And we've seen that in a bunch of arcades, actually, set it to I super speed. I love it. I love the They're super really fast Miss Pac-Man. It's so way fun. more fun. Um, we played... They had baby Pac-Man as well, actually. I love baby... And it's so funny. I, I so didn't... So hard. It seems a really uncommon game, but I found it at a number... It must be a very... Um, sought after. Sought after game because... I think so. It's so unusual. Because I've seen a lot of arcades have have it. I'm into it. <laughs> yep. And uh, it's a really fun game. I find it so challenging, but I enjoy it. So I think because I do really like pinball. Yeah, and it's got it's uh, got a very difficult pinball. It is very hard. But on the on the premise that you're going to you don't die when the ball goes down the middle. You just go back to the the baby Pac-Man maze, right? Um. But, but you have to earn your power pellets when you're in the pinball mode. Um, yeah, so we played, uh, well, I played Galaga, Miss Pac-Man, Tron, Tapper. Um, what else? There's another game I played. We played a bunch of pinball, played Baby Pac-Man. Um, Cafe Man 2D got stung by a wasp in the ear cutting grass on Sunday. What? Oh my god. That. That is sounds terrible. horrible. <laughs> oh. Cafe Man. Oh. What part of the ear? Like in, in, in? Or like the outer edge? Where any part of the ear. I feel bad, like but... any injury to the ear, the ears get hot and. Ugh. Oh, I'm so sorry. That sucks. <laughs> I would think this would be player missile collisions because everything's on its own line and you'd be able to know which thing hit you. Because there's only, like, <sighs> player, your player, and the only other things you run into are either the missiles or the spiders. Um... Somebody asked if it supported paddles. Andreas Capello asked if it supported paddles. Paddles in this type of game make for a very different game. <sighs> because you're able to move anywhere on the screen yeah. with paddles. Like you can be in the left and you go right to the right. No, 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 I'm done. You're done. <laughs> I, did, I did worse the second time than the first. That's usually, for me, that's always what happens, but I need to get better. Oh, you did much better that time. Well. 5,000 something? Anybody record it? That's okay. 556 or something like that. Anyway. Um, yeah, you really have to commit to paddles or joystick kind of at the beginning. Oh, because they Because they terrible. move so, so differently. It's not hardware collision. That is surprising, actually. Software collision on this. 
Interesting. So it doesn't look for any hardware collision whatsoever. Hmm. I like heroes, flies, since Yar's revenge. <laughs> yeah, there's a fly in that. Is it? That's true. Is 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 the hero a fly? Yeah, yeah, you're kind of a fly. Well, I mean, you're a spaceship, but you, you are kind like of a fly. fly. Because it is kind of based on it. Yep, yeah, new new game, Neo Media. Uh, well, you didn't miss we you missed the news, but um, we've we, this is the first game, so you haven't missed any games. <laughs> oh. Uh. What was I saying? Oh, I played Tempest as well. Uh, oh, oh gosh, they start they start There's showing one up more so game low. That I played. Oh, Cat Tracks, which I'd never played before in the arcade. Really fun. Cat I do tracks? like that. Yeah, that would be very hard to make on the 2600. Not impossible, but very hard because there's like overlapping um, areas and there's lots of... Well, no, you could do it. You could do it. I don't think anybody has tried to do it yet. I've never seen Cat Tracks homebrew. Kev Kelly says, I'm in awe of the original Atari programmers who made such small games with so many variations. That is true. I mean, it is a matrix of variations that they that they do, but even combat is actually pretty astounding because I believe it was 2K and there's lots of different characters like that you can control and lots of different variations as well. Spacefly. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, somebody asked if there's a, an advantage to shooting the spider. I can't... It went off yes. the screen. Yes, yeah. It pushes back the spider, which you want, because the lower the spider gets, the shorter you have time to deal with the baby spiders. So it makes it much more difficult. So it you, does. It gets difficult really quick. So he has incorporated the element of... Um, Risk reward with shooting the mother spider. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, right down the middle. I mean, they shoot so quickly sometimes. You don't get points for shooting? No, you didn't get that time. I'm going to walk. No, you get points for shooting the mother. Nope. Yes, you do. It has to bounce back, though. Oh. It's like I'm not actually hitting it. Okay. It you... has to go back, not jump. Uh, I'll watch next time. It's, it's actually, but it so does... So it has to get low enough for you to bounce it back. Because at the top, well, it, it goes it, to a point. It, it, yeah, it... Is there a 2600 cat tracks? Yeah, maybe there is, actually. Maybe I just haven't played it. Silly me. Uh, Ricardo has explained to Vitoka. I'm not sure how to explain in English. I did the calculations of the X and Y position in the sprite area oh to de God. detect the collision. Is this box collision? Yep, pretty much. Yeah, you go, does it hit one box to another box? I see it on Atari Age. It, was it a prototype, though? And, like, not released? Um, like, officially released? Oh. 750. Yeah, you do get you do get points if you hit it back. Yeah, if it flashes. It has to, it has to, to flash. kind of flash and bounce back, yeah. and you do. But, but it only seems happens like sometimes, when it's low enough. It, yeah, it seems like sometimes it just kind of like shakes a little. <laughs> ah! Oh, too risky. That was better. Slowly getting better. 90-50. Good job. Swarm in here. Oh, you can shoot it when she's out of the trees. Oh, okay. So, that excellent. Makes sense. That makes super sense. fun, old school shooter yes. game. Yeah. With waves and variations. It looks great. Yep. The spiders look Scary. great. Scary. Um, <laughs> and the mother spider is not just a bigger version of the baby spiders. Yeah. It's actually different because you can just do two times or four times the size. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's actually a different, different graphics. Mm. Um, so we're going to go quickly back to the instruction manual, look at the tips and see if we figure those out on our own. Okay. Um, so 
tips were the magic of most Atari games is to face the unknown, discover for yourself the patterns of attack or defense, and thus be able to outline your own strategy to win. Don't destroy this moment now. Come back here another time. But if you played enough or do not like to face the unknown, go for it. So anybody Never doesn't want these tips, look away. <laughs> Thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. Thank 43 you. months. 43 months. Astounding. That's excellent. You will die, and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> but the tips below can help you stay alive longer. The okay. mother spider wants to catch you, so she'll carefully advance towards you whenever it reaches the edge of the trees. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, she'll advance faster in the more advanced stages. One way to slow down the advance is to kill the little spiders. This will make her st st back up a step. Oh. Really? Interesting. I didn't notice that. Well, at the end of the, the, the wave, yeah. she does move back. Oh, oh. Be by killing the little spider. Uh, yeah, she, she moves move. back. Yes, okay, yeah. that's what it means. I thought she was like bumped back. Uh, as long as she is in the treetops, the mudger mother okay. uh, spider is very agile and getting a shot is impossible. But far from the top, you will succeed. Mm. Being hit will also cause her to go back one step, which yeah. you saw. It is not a good idea to get her too close. She will attack you, and there's nothing you can do to defend herself from her, her pounce. pounce. We didn't see that. Well, I think she just. She'll get you eventually, right? We should try that <laughs> dodge like, avoid everything and then see if she jumps on you yeah just yeah you avoid should, the, you we'll, should. Do, we'll go back to it he, she might just run into you but yeah i want to see i want to she says pounce <laughs> i want to see the pounce uh focus your attack forces on her and forget about the little spiders when, yeah. the, when the mother spider next to the fly uh no longer sends her baby spiders to attack is a sign that her deadly pounce is close oh. so, so be quick to counter attack shooting three shots in a row before she takes another step will send her back to the top of the trees gotcha uh to see it don't shoot spiders yes, yes, yes. We're, gonna, we're gonna do it then that more tips good. try to keep the fly always close to the center of the screen it's the safest region Fair yeah because you yeah. only have one direction if you're on the side you get you get trapped on the edges eventually baby spiders will attack you and in this position you'll have more reaction time being yeah. positioned below one that is attacking you will interrupt this pounce yeah running into the corners is not a good idea you'll all you can be surrounded with no chance of defense yes. dodging little spiders pounce will notice. also <laughs> cause attack to be interrupted yeah in direct combat with the mother spider in more advanced stages ignore the big webs and focus your shots on the mother spider uh, itself yeah. you have a better chance of i mean running. that makes sense because yeah, you just want to keep the mother spider back and i read that he passed those team notes to me earlier oh, excellent um so let's go back to the game and see about this pencil oh he's there's a spider down there but we have to avoid everything yeah and it's best to do it in this level because I would, they're not going I back would and think forth. so or or the one with the webs yes that would be an easier one to do too because it'll take a while for him Hi. to get all the way down hello black cat you're so smart you're a smart kitty learning the bell the second time out i had just he didn't an even learn instant, it. He knew it instantly knew how he the bell attacked worked. the bell i was Ah. And not once. Smack, 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 smack. Ding, 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 ding. I know this thing. I know what it this means. It gave me treats. <laughs> oh, they're really low now. He learns. Oh, oh, my God. That is deadly. It was just like, boom. Went right into you. Yeah. So there you go. That's nice. the attack. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. I want to see it again. Like I was a, blinking when it happens. <laughs> there's a slight pause between when the, the baby spiders stop. Okay. And when she attacks you. Oh, yeah, you, you have to. You have to still move. Uh, yeah, they're moving now, so oh. it's going to be ch more challenging. I'll try. You just have to go the opposite way. The spiders yeah. are coming. If you can. Oh god. Uh, you have to get under them. Ah! Ah! I can't get under that one. Go down. Ah! It's a game in itself. Yeah. Oh, now she's nice and low. Oh, she's going to attack soon. Right. Whoosh. There's no way you can get it. <laughs> There's just no way. Wow. Wow. I like that. That is very cool addition. That is very cool. And and if you're really really good at the game, I can see that not coming till later. Yeah. And that would be quite a surprise mm -hmm. if um, you didn't read the tips. Yes. And you're like, oh my god, the yeah. spider attacked me. Yeah. That's awesome. Great job on that, Ricardo Pim and team of Ricardo Pim Yay. as well. Thank you so much for letting us play it, yes, too. It's a great you. game. Uh, the next game we're going to be playing is Tanks 2022. And this requires two joysticks. It's a two-player game. Okay. Let's 
me against you. Oh, oh, nope. the cat found something to play with there. Nope. He's like, I will play with this this joystick cord. It's a fun game. Yay. Okay. Hey, Sprite. Uh, okay, so this cat, his tail is huge relative to his body. I think he's going to be a very long cat. That, I that's think so my too. prediction. Look at that tail. He's got a nice, big, long, fluffy tail. Uh, well, it's not too fluffy yet. It's getting fluffier. It's getting fluffier. It was uh, yeah. not as fluffy earlier. But it is getting fluffier. He's he's getting long, and he's got a long tail. I think he's going to be... So, long. Tanks 2022 uh, by Ford Apocalypse, who is making tons and tons of games. Nice. Uh, he's made 11 games this year so far. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, so, if you would like to load it up... I think that's the right one. Nope. Nope. That's my joystick. This is my joystick. Oh, we tangled him. Entangled. Um, there's two versions of this game, mm -hmm. uh, not the DPC. It does not work uh, yet on the system. What is DPC? It's not DLC, I assume. Uh, no, it is. Uh, I forget what it stands for. Um, but it is a chip. That was put inside Pitfall 2. Oh, okay, okay. And then DPC Plus is an extension of that. Of that so chip. So it's sort of an emulation of DPC gotcha. on another chip. So the it's one tank versus the other. It's a capture the flag style game. Okay. So you see the flashing thing below. Is your flag? Uh, me and you, I think. I'm yellow. You're black. And there's also yeah. that dot. Yeah. And if you touch the dot... It's a heat-seeking missile for the other person. For the other person? Yes. So oh, so you don't want to touch the dot. Um, so if anybody wants to buy uh, Spiders and Flies, I uh, just want to say okay. that again. Yep, yep, yep. Um, it is available to buy if you email uh, ricardopim slash game select at Atari game select at gmail.com. Nice. Atari game select at gmail.com. And Ricardo, if you want to put that on Type it into the chat. Mm -hmm. uh, David P. Crane or display processing chip. Uh, he <laughs> said he says it's a coincidence. I thought I heard him say it's a coincidence that it happens to be happens to be his initials. But <laughs> I don't think anybody believes yeah, that. Yeah, no one believes that. So find the radio to send a drone after the other player. I think that's oh, the little dot. The radio. Find the radio. So what you get it and you can send a drone, or it automatically goes. No, no, but uh, am I seeking it, or are you, or am I avoiding it? You're seeking it, touching it, and then it goes for the other person. Okay, because you I just said seek, the opposite. Or I can seek it, touch it, and it'll go for you. Okay, because the way you said that, yes. it sounded like if I touch it, yeah. then you get it, not mm. it seeks you. So no. I immediately thought, oh, I have to avoid hitting it, which no. is very, very crafty of you. <laughs> no, I did for, not mean it that way. For purposefully confusing me into thinking I had to avoid it. Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, no. Tanks are fast, similar to modern tanks. You can curve your shots. Okay. If you shoot without pulling back the joystick, it attempts to remove a blade field piece where the missile lands. Gotcha. Uh, if you shoot while... Uh, if you shoot while pulling back on the joystick, it attempts to add a play field pixel where the missile lands. You can build a wall if you want. Remove, press forward, back, put a piece there. Um, you can do that right now. Say that want. again. Say that again. It's very intuitive. No, no. Okay, so say it again. What am I doing in, to, to remove and put back pieces? Uh, if you pull back on the joystick okay. while shooting, it'll add a play field pixel where the missile lands. While shooting. Yeah. Okay, okay. And if you shoot without pulling back on the joystick, it removes the playfield pixel. So it's just like destroying it. So I'm not shooting anything then. Watch. Oh, you are shooting. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. My shots are going very far and they're not removing anything, but... Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, maximum distance of missiles varies a little. Uh, unlike most tank games, shooting the other player doesn't win points. Instead, you must capture the other player's base, which is the flashing thing. 
Uh, each player has four bases. You can see them all along the bottom. You can select from static maps or random ones with selectable amount of pixels, along with a wide variety of colors for player one. Player two, background, and playfield. We'll look at that later. Uh, you can select games with invisible tanks that only show when they move, shoot, or create. Which is... Oh, <laughs> we're resetting. It's, 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 yeah, no, it's fine. Uh, it's definitely awkward. Well, you go slowly through uh, the play field. And you move very fast. Oh, you got me. I think it just resets you, I think. Yeah, it resets you back to your base. Oh, how did you get me? I'm going to get you. You weren't even face towards me. I curved it, I guess. Lies. Curved the shot. I always find this so awkward. There you I'm go. terrible with this movement. The radio. It's not the game, it's me. 100% <laughs> me. Oh, that's what you got. <laughs> yep. Okay, now I get the it. The little dot. If I run over the little dot, it goes for you. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta curve Come your shot. Come on. How do you curve? You can't curve a shot. Ah. Uh, no. <laughs> I should have been shooting you. Should have been camping. It's coming for you. It's coming for you. Oh, got me. Time to camp. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can camp in this come game. Come on. So if I shoot you and then I go near your base, I'm going to shoot you once more just so I can make sure I get your base without you. I curved my shot. How? That's not a thing. You gotta learn how to do it. There. Oh, you there. Saw it. Oh, I see. Come on, I hit you. Oh, come on. That's there so you know. silly. Do camp, 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 and kill. <laughs> you just were you shooting at me, or you just yes. waited for me to materialize? I waited for you to materialize, and then I shot you, oh. which gave me a bit more time to go into your base because you could come out shooting, right? Oh, got me. Oh god. Oh, disappeared. Guess it only goes for a little bit. Hey! Oh, that's weird. You can just, like, power through. Run through each other. Oh god. Ah! Oh. Yeah, eventually. <laughs> No, no, no. Yep, it's coming for you. No, it gets stuck. Come on. Ah, oh, you ran it. I'm stuck. Ah! It's no, coming. no. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> How come it's not getting you? When Cause, right cause you? I keep getting away from it. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> This is a fun game. <laughs> now that I'm not completely losing every single time I move. Just run around like an erratic oh, black kitten. Oh, black kitten. Go, 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 go. Oh. Yes. Winner is me. <laughs> and I get lit up. Yay. <sighs> Let's see the variations. Okay. Oh, different wall shapes. Yeah. Let's try that wall shape. This is very. Oh, what? No, you went back. Oh, you have to press the button to start, I guess. Yep. Okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> well, reset you as well. Thank goodness. Oh, oh, it's coming for me. Hell yeah, it is. 
Ah, no, no, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. No, <gasps> you're bad. Yes, I agree, Vitoko. Player versus player <laughs> games are amazing because you don't know what you're in for with with the the other person playing the game. They could be good or they could have different strategies. It's hard to get through this wall. It is. It is very hard. I guess that's the point. Go, go, go. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, get him. No. Yeah. Oh. oh. I have a hard time getting through the walls, too. It's like even breaking through the walls, you have to hit them at angles, which is really weird. No. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what? I rebuilt it. I destroyed the wall and then rebuilt it immediately. Damn it. Ah. Oh. You're not very Come concentrated on, on getting my. I can't uh, get. Like, I can't drive straight. Is Ah, stop <laughs> it. I cannot drive straight. <laughs> Winner's me. That would help. <laughs> it would help if I could drive Ooh. in straight lines. Open. That's going to be very strange. Well, not really. You just, it's like who gets there first. Uh, no. 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 Yeah. Do you protect? Protect and then advance? Oh, come what? on. That's ridiculous. Oh, you ran into the missile that I uh, reached upon you. So you shouldn't be allowed to do that. What? Run into the other person? Yeah. Well, what? Like if I'm if I'm if I'm protecting it, you shouldn't be able to just run into me. I don't know. You should have to draw me out. So you're hundred percent protected there. Well then. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the steering is crazy. The steering is insane. <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> next one wins. No! No, 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 okay. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! No! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that one's too easy. <laughs> yeah. Too easy to move around. Uh, good plain. times, good times. Oh, that's cool. Very random. Oh, oh my, God. my goodness. That sounds... This, this looks crazy. You have to like cut a way through. I guess the play field stays from game to game. Like from. So it'll eventually just kind of open up. You would hope. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. And oh, you got the gonna... missile. No, run! No, the missile's faster than me. <laughs> How did you find it? Guessing there's a lot of memory for this game, a lot of RAM, because it has to keep track of tons of spaces. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's dense destruction. Oh, oh, just missed it. Come on, go, go, go. No, you're gonna get it. Oh no! Uh. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> oh, it resets. Oh, never mind. You, you've had enough of this? Yeah, it that... resets at, a, at each round, yeah. Okay. That's oh. pretty sparse. We'll go for that one. That's kind of a random... Oh, it got me. No! <laughs> oh, I can barely see your bullets on the purple. It's cheaty. Oh, you've sent the missile after me. I can't move. <laughs> if I could, if I could uh, steer myself, then yes, that would be totally fine. No. Oh, what? What changed my direction? No, go, go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I must have just barely changed the direction of the. No. Uh, game point. No. Get out of here. Get oh, out what? Of here. I shot you. Oh, there was a thing in front of it. Oh, no. Oh. 
Shoot oh. straight. Now it's game point. Shoot, shoot straight. Come on, there uh. we go. Wake up, wake up, no. <laughs> Winner. The winner is you. Uh, there's a DPC version. Um, we will, I'll show it briefly. Okay. Because it's a bit of a, a bit much to set it up. Okay. So let's switch back to this. Tanks. 2022 DPC version. Should work. Check. Yeah. There we go. Turn off that. So I will just move around. So there are um, invincible civilians in this one. Oh, they're invincible. <laughs> Uh, no slowing of tank when moving on the play field yet, so you can just like zoom around. Mm -hmm. And it looks like it has structures. You can see they're kind of structure-like. Yes, yeah. Um, for now, if you shoot at a civilian or the other tank, both tanks blow up. Oh. So you want to avoid You don't want to civilians. shoot, but you can run into them, but you can't. You just can't shoot them. So I don't really know the point of shooting at all in this one, then. Well, what? you you need to destroy the structures to get the through them, probably. The structures, right. Yeah. The civilians can start the drone, so if a civilian runs into a drone, mm. I don't know which one it picks if it the, the zone, uh, drone starts. Better graphics, but it's hard to tear up the playfield as much for now. Can I? No, you can't shoot it yet, can you? That's what he said. No, you can't shoot it. Oh, you can shoot it a little bit, yeah. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, invisibility doesn't work yet in this one. Oh, we didn't play the invisibility version. Mm. We'll go back and play the invisibility briefly. Okay. So there, there's the um, DPC version, which is just a little bit different. Oh. There we go. Switch back to that. Nice. It, does, it doesn't say which... Civilians ruin everything. Yeah. Is this version for the 5200? Nope, still 2600. How do you get to the invisibility? Is it black and white? No. I'm cycling through, but I always see the tanks on the screen. Oh, there's the options. 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 17. Oh, that when might they're be flashing? It. No. Oh. Reset just goes to one. <laughs> That's what I'm accidentally do it, doing. Okay, press the button. Turn the TV off for, for invisible mode. Yeah, there you go. Ah. You can see yourself when you're moving. Ah. Uh, well, that... Not entirely invisible, then. No, because if the person is keeping track of you, it kind of flashes in and out. It's interesting. <laughs> Is that the only variation, I think? There's colors. Yeah, we went through the colors. Yep. I wasn't playing. Turn the TV off for invisible. <laughs> Funny. Pretty much. Pretty okay, much. cool. All right. So there's lots of different variations of maps and tanks and no tanks. And I love, uh, yeah. like somebody said, uh, Vitoko said, two player games. Love them. Yes. They're so good. They're fun. It's fun to play with someone sitting next to yes. you. Yes, yeah. especially if the game has a l is very rich yes. in the way you can move and set up tactics mm. um, because you never know how the other person is going to use those tactics. Yeah. Um, and it makes for really, really varied gameplay. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a, an 8K for this one mm -hmm. um, or a 32K DPC plus kernel. Um, and you can play tons and tons of his games <laughs> on the Atari Age forums. You can download this game in the Atari Age forums. It's very cool. It's yep. fun. It's a lot of fun to play. It is. Yeah. Uh, on to the third game and last game of the night. Uh, it is 1942. We're going to play this on the plus card because we can get our score. Uploaded? If it keeps the connection. Uploaded. Yep. 
to the high score plus cards. Uh, let me just change the cartridge. Getting used to the heat. Getting used to it's the heat? It's dropped half a degree. Yay. Uh, there's some cool air coming in, so that's good. Yeah. Can I have the joystick? Or you can do it. Oh, no. Yeah, go to here. public ROMs. Then go to work in progress. So this game is uh, kind of a joint uh, development. Are you trying to ban someone? No. Okay. Good. Jump, jump, jump. Um, it started with Homer Homer in 2011, mm -hmm. and then Al Nefer picked up the game, uh, Zero Through G, and started uh, developing more, because it's an open source game. And then recently, Splendid Nut. This um, one? St uh, yep. And then the newest one, uh, an NTSC, I HSC. Down, down. There. H. TSC. That one? Oh, that's NTSC, but HSC. Before oh, it, yeah. HSC, NTSC. That's the one. Okay. And Pat Brady is on sound. Um, it's 32K. This just got released today. Nice. This version of it. So it was an update today. Um, and I will read through all of the updates since mm -hmm. we last played. It last played March 17th, 2022. So okay. a couple months ago. Yep. Yeah. Uh, other games by Al Nefer, 1942, Cave Apocalypse, Internet Combat, The Hack, which we played, which we debuted on the on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Splendid Mutt, Nut uh, made 1942, Chaotic Grill, and Paint the City. Nice. Looking forward to the updates to Paint the City. Yes. Uh, Hello, Old yay, Style. Yay, plus card. Yay. Hey, Old Style. Um, oh, yes, we want to play with the Genesis controllers. Okay. Because... To do the flip around? This is a flip around game. Yeah. Black Cat, he's waiting patiently for someone to feed him more treats, so... He is being Is it time for that patient. yet? I don't know. Uh, probably is. 7.41. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Party time! Party time Cats, 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 cats. Atari heard that. Atari heard it? Yeah, he knows the party time for kittens. Oh, it's Did he come running down? time. Did you come running down? Oh, do you see meow. that? Do you hear this little meow? Meow. You don't even like. You don't even like catnip. Well, we'll give you some treats because you don't like catnip. Put it in the lid, so in it's not lid? messy. Okay. Yeah. Well, it will be messy, but just can, a little bit. I can put it That's on. That's too much. That's Way too much. Fine. I'll put it here. There we go. Put it in the middle, because that'll. Flip. Thank you, Charles. Catnip. Charles did catnip. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. Yeah. This will give me some time to plug in the other joystick and get it all ready. He doesn't like it. He you know needs what? some treats. Do you want some? No, no. You want a couple treats? I'll give you a couple treats. He doesn't like them. Should I have him ding a bell and get a couple of treats, or um, will that just get Atari all, all get riled, Atari up? riled up? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! The gray cat heard that. Yeah, He's you'll like, get a couple too. Yeah. <laughs> Squealing all yeah. around. Here. Here? You you can sniff that? You can, can sniff, sniff that? He hasn't shown much no. Oh, it's like ugh. Ugh, what is that? I think that's drugs. Are <laughs> that's you having drugs. drugs? There should be no drugs in this house. That's drugs. That's, that's drugs. That's cat drugs. I only eat treats. Filthy Atari. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, Sprite it's, says no to Sprite, drugs. It's, it is legal in Canada. You don't have to use it, but it is legal. Yeah. Catnap. No pressure. No. <laughs> yeah, they, they generally, I understand that too. The kittens oh, aren't interested in it until really? they get older. Yeah. Oh, interesting. And then one for you. There you go. But then there's lots of catnip for you, Atari. <laughs> drugs are bad, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we'll switch back. Okay, you can watch kitties. them in the cat cam. Yeah, they'll be in the cat cam. Atari will be rolling around soon. Come here. It's here. It's here. Here. Let me push this. There we go. There you now go. you can see that it has Genesis controller support. Yay, Genesis controller. It has controllers. recognized it. Winners don't use drugs. <laughs> can all recall all those wonderful ads back when we were kids. That's right. Excellent music. Such good music. You can see it's all in color now. The plane. No, B, 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 B. Just B for shooting. Oh, and C it for C for rolling. Because it was rolling? just starting up. You don't get to shoot. Oh, I so. see. Fair enough. 
There is auto fire, and I I use auto fire. Get the power up, yeah, get it. Yeah, good shots now. Okay. Look at this, this is so good. So, so good. good, I'm so happy somebody made 1942. <gasps> no. Went right into it. I, I tried to avoid him. Listen to this music, it's fantastic. So good. Um, so, updates. Uh, March. He got me from behind! Yep, you can't stay low on the screen. What? Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Obviously, I haven't played a lot of 1942. Well, I got the power up. No, we haven't. Because planes, <laughs> planes can come from the bottom. Yeah, I forgot about that. It's, it's been a while. Ready. No, you're too low. Um, April 16th update from Al Nefer. New rearranged attack waves. Enemies are shooting missiles, uh, ramps up during the waves. Movement of the boss missiles improved. Bosses need much more hits, also ramps up. Boss intro and background music by Pat Brady. Uh, players invincible during respawn music. That's, you're at the bottom of the screen. Oh, that was quick. Didn't even see the results. It's because I was holding the button. Oh. That's the problem with auto fire. <laughs> yes, the sprites have been prettyified. Does teen cats try drugs? I don't know. He's not a teen yet. He's still still a baby. He's he is still watching a baby. his brother do it, so he's learning. He watches everything his brother does. I'm pretty sure that's how he learned the bell. Oh yeah, he's very observant to what Atari does. Oh, you rolled. I know. Okay. Just testing it out. So the rolls are in the bottom right hand corner. Don't stay at the bottom. I know. I know. <laughs> you gotta ah. Uh, looping counter is set to oh three every landing, so you get a new ah. loop every landing. Ah. A lot of code changes and bug fixes. So, May 5th, four more attack waves. Fly off the side fighter before landing. Ooh, I, I want to see that. Because we haven't played it with all these additions. You yet. can you can, you can, can try that. I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> how, how not to die. <laughs> it's, it's not the easiest. There's a lot of enemies on the screen. Generally just, <laughs> generally just stay far away from well, everything. Well, it, it, they kind of come in and out of... They flash in and out a little bit too, which is a little confusing. Oh, it's much tougher than before. I finished the game with no problem the last time we played it. Oh my it. gosh. Yeah, because they can shoot at any time, so being close to them is very Yeah, but dangerous. they also kind of flash out. Uh, yeah, because there's... And, and then, the then they reappear. <laughs> yeah, and then they reappear sometimes in less than opportune places, so... Uh... Fly, fly off side, uh, white power up, enemy crash makes player invincible in the next wave. Uh, a lot of code changes, bug fixes. Uh, May 17th, boss, explosion, and victory tune. Uh, smoother playfield scrolling of, ran, of landscape, four pixels. I guess it was eight before. Uh, fix flicker of carrier superstructures at game start. Return to title screen from text screens from joystick button. Uh, Bug fix for lethal power-ups. That's never good, Ugh. having lethal power-ups. Oh, my God. Oh, hissy. Oh, someone's high and, and unhappy. <laughs> Tari's, like, just laid out on the floor. He Hissing. Went, he went... <sighs> <laughs> barely opened he his can eyes. Barely, he can barely sit up. He's very high. Oh, poor kitten. Oh, gosh. Uh, bug fix for... Uh, this is May 31st. Oh, stage 31, shooting down 73. Game over. Side fighter collision improved. Planes from bottom shoot before leaving the screen, starting in stage 24. Uh, and then in June 5th, Splendid Nut started contributing mm -hmm. to it. Excellent, good job. Uh, he says, I've started working on this and published a gutted and commented version of the multi-sprite kernel that includes cycle counts in the fork on GitHub. And, oh, no, no power up. And then... Uh, June 20th, got a little bit work done, mainly be able to rework the multi-sprite kernel to hack together a, a method for adding color to the multi-sprites. Now, this is the new color version, because your plane used to be just a solid That's yellow, right. and the enemies oh, just be, used to be solid green, I think. It's been a while. Um, the work involved... Disable the ball sprite code, rework the player data loading to be more direct and not need a cache, slip in the color loading changing code for the shared sprite, and finally re-enable the ball sprite code. It was quite the process. So you have three flips per carrier landing. Mm-hmm. So you hardly ever use it, because I never 
because you're dead before you... Well, no, I never uh, quite figure out when the best time to do it Whenever is. you're in a panic, just hit that button. Uh, I guess so. Whenever you're like, oh, I'm going to die, hit it. Like, especially when you're being, like, squished with those planes, because I saw that a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. Like these ones. That's full, full, full screen of planes there. Uh, June 22nd, made some progress with getting things properly colored. Uh, June 25th, dare I say the bonus items are fully working now. Turned around. Maybe. Also, I did the colors for the side fighters and fixed the colors for the red bonus item. Give me the pow! Give me the pow. Give me the pow. Yeah, I was playing earlier and the detection of some of the pows is like, I'm all over it and mm, it's just not picking it up. It's not, it's not quite working yet. Hey, Rod Castler, it has been a long Yay. time. Hey! Welcome back. I haven't seen that name in a while. No, it's been quite a few names tonight that I haven't seen in a little while. Yeah. Whoa, that was good dodging. <laughs> uh, and this one today, the update is, there you go. Oh, and an extra plane too. Oh, good luck. Just don't let the middle one be hit. Protect the middle one. Good use of it. It's hard to... Because the middle one, you'll die. It's the you. other ones yeah. are fine. They can go away, but... Protect your middle one. Uh, and today's power, um, update. Oh, oh well, got two, two is actually oh, uh, too something late. Hit you from behind. Yeah, two oh. is I find better than three because two, three is so wide on the screen. Mm. I've made it. Just, Whew, just. Uh, I believe that all the multicolor sprites have been taken care of at this point. Main thing changed in this update have added the, the player explosion colors t to the color lookup table. They could probably do with some tweaking, but they look all right. I still need to fix the off by one on the first line issue. But other than that, if anyone has any tweaks, suggestions for the sprite colors, let me know. Nice. Got an extra plane. So we're up to date with all the updates. Whoa, some good dodge in there. Uh, Rod Castler says, glad to be back. Fun to see your summer outfits while we're freezing down in Latin America. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it, your cold it, time. It is definitely uh, summer here. Yeah, it's, it's quite warm in this room. It is hit summer. Just, just, just. It's, oh, I couldn't go any further forward. Oh, you should have went left and down then. Yeah, I just, I, I didn't realize I was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's 26 Celsius. <gasps> oh. oh. Three planes. That was better. That Stage was better. 29. I'm getting something cold to drink. I'm coming back. Do you want water? 24-7. Yes, please. You want some water? Okay. If somebody wants to hot. record Tanya's score. Well, you can if you want. 24,700. <laughs> no, you did pretty good that time. It was good. It was better. It's definitely improving. Great music. Stupid hemisphere. Stupid round planet. Flatten the earth. Thank you, Charles Whelan. For recording the scores. I love shoot 'em ups. Even if I'm bad at some of them, I love them. They're just so much fun. What the hell? Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this controller because I generally do not play on thumb pads. I like arcade controls. So I just find I'm more precise with them. Case in point, I should be doing much, much better. Maybe I'll just forego the uh, the roll. <laughs> oh my god! Embarrassing, completely embarrassing. Do not record that score, whatever it was. Didn't even get to past one level. Because I rarely use the rolls anyway. I may, if I do just as bad this time. I'm going to switch it out. I used to use the Genesis um, like arcade stick, but it always caused problems. Like it needed to be powered. Like it does take pa It went up when I went meant to go down. I don't like this controller. Um, but it take takes power because there's lights in it. 
and there's also um, a slider for rapid fire. So I think it like draws too much power and it always like stopped working. So I have like two broken ones. Maybe it was just the joystick. Complaining about the thumb pad. I don't like it. Don't like it. No, sorry. Nope, doing well. Uh, no. No? Well, better than the first. Well. I died already. Oh, well, that's okay. It takes a little bit of... It's the controller. Getting used to again. Yeah, because I never play with this controller. Oh, with the Genesis? Yeah. With with the thumb pad. Mm. I just don't like thumb pads in general. <laughs> it never did. Well, I don't mind thumb pads. Because I had a, a joystick for my Commodore 64, like well, an arcade joystick, too. and that's what I grew an up arcade. on. An arcade, okay. I always well, had that... the ball thing. That's the ball a, that's thing, that's what I had. That's yeah, arcade. no, no, it's I know, that's what pad. I had too, yeah. yeah. The button at the bottom at the base, and, and then the, the button on the top, yeah. yeah. Wicco, was it Wicco? I don't know, but that's what I had too. That That's how I, how I uh, um, you know, completed uh, Impossible Mission. <laughs> on that joystick? On that joystick, yeah. yeah. See, that's what I need. I was playing it the other day because I want to do I want to do um, After Stream. Dark, but I don't want to be terrible at it if I'm going to play it. Right. And I was doing fine. I actually, it's shocking how much you remember from those games you play. But um, when the big planes come from behind, I'm dead with three. Oh, it's hard. There's yeah. just no room. You just have to be yeah, for sure. It's nice. It's nice flip. to have like the the triple shot, but yeah, I'll have to flip. Ah. Ah. Uh, oh. oh, good timing. I don't want three anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yay, extra life. Oh, Tanya didn't have away. issues with the controller. <laughs> I don't mind the Genesis controllers, but I. I she didn't. No. I <laughs> if I ha if I play Mich but um, Impossible if you notice, Mission, I have a higher score than her right now. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> I had to do a few rounds first before I didn't die instantly. True. So. Well, I died almost instantly yeah. when I first played. Takes a bit. Of, takes a bit of getting. It does. I'm a little better. I, maybe I won't uh, switch. It's the stuff that comes from behind that Ugh. gets you. Suddenly you you're like, ah! <laughs> you have to know what's coming, because there you definitely is. Yeah, but there definitely is a pat. Oh, it'll it'll get it'll be on you before you flip if you're too close to the bottom. So. Yeah, and there are only a limited number of styles of attack waves. Mm. Oh my god, I I flickered through that guy. Mm -hmm. Luckily. Come on, get it. Ugh, missed the last right guy. I need to power up for my shots with the pea shooter right now. Oh, that was close. I think you have to get all of a wave. Oof. Do you know what I mean? You have to oh, get to all get of the red? planes in a, in a wave to get a pow. A pow. Mm, I'm not sure how that works. It seems like that's the case. The flyway is a cool addition. It yes. is, because it does that in the arcade. Yeah. And then it joins back up. It's super awesome. The developers on this game have done an incredible job on this. Mm -hmm. um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. So you have to get the whole wave. And now it's and like then you get the power. A yeah. really, really good port. Power ups are harder to get now. Yeah, for sure. Ah, ah, dodge, ooh, dodge. Ooh, 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 that was a close dodge. That was good dodge. Yeah, I don't. Oof, 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 oof. Oh, not going after him. Nope. No, what? Oh, it hit my middle guy. Damn it. I didn't know which one was my middle guy. I guess Music's it was my right. right, too. Oh, the music is astounding. I can see it. The little intro music every time you die. <laughs> I can see it being nominated in the music category. If yes. If it already hasn't been. Yeah. I don't think it has. I don't know. Did it get nominated? Does anybody know if it got nominated last year for music? Because it's really good music. Still four lives. Doing okay. Doing okay. Oh, back for more catnip. Mm. More catnip. Oh, he's coming back. Hi, kitties. This would have been a killer game back in the day, no doubt. Oh, oh my god. It would have sold like gangbusters. Because mm -hmm. it's such a popular arcade game. Because it's one of the... It's one of the best early shoot 'em ups Come on. Come on, come on. No! Ah, I died trying to get it. Oh, another chance. Yay. I think I got a life there, but 
Yeah, I did. I think you max out at four. Oh, oh, flashies. They're disappearing. <laughs> Too many enemy planes on the screen. But that is what it is with 2600. You only have two sprites on a line. Can I have a power up, please? <laughs> Yay, extra life. I'll take that as well. Mm -hmm. I would rather have an extra life than a power up. Power ups are nice, though. Cafe Man 2D, I can't believe how many simultaneous sprites. It is really uh, yeah. well engineered. And they've uh, separated the lives from the score to give you some extra room at the bottom. Vitoka, are you playing along? <laughs> he's got 124,000, so you have a ways to go to beat Vitoko oh, in this. Oh, he's got a this. lead on me. <laughs> he's got a huge lead on you. He's, he's got double. He's pausing it, obviously, so he's playing it on the emulator. Possibly. Or else he's not typing, because there's no breaks in this game. Or very quick Oh, no, quick he, he just died, probably. He just oh, typed in his, his final, final score? score. Yeah. Oh, well, very I've got nice, six, Very nice. I've got six it's, lives. It's so. always nice when people play along. So. It is. It's awesome. I yeah. love that. We highly encourage that. Yes. And posting your scores. Yes. Ugh. Pea shooter. Can't kill these big planes. Come on. There. Got it. So I need to double my score? Is that what he's saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Doing pretty well, though. I'm well, not going to be... I'm not going to be... Uh, Hitting Vitogo's score, I don't think. I have to make it through a few waves first. One. Oh! Oh no! Well, at least you have a lot of lives. That one I'll never get uh, a power up from. Ah, ah, ah. Because it's just too hard to shoot them. Ah, Vitogo's score is registered at the plus ROM. Oh! Oh, Very boss! Nice. Boss time! Charles Reese, Vitogo, I thought you were in the future. <gasps> what? Oh god, the boss. Uh, ah, 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 ah! Just Run away! Life. Run! Oh my god, it tracks you! Oh! Yeah, that's not good, and I have a pea shooter too. And up, and over. Yay! Yay. Oh, nice! Nice kill screen! Da, 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 da. Yeah, it. I don't know why it disconnects. I don't know. How much you can do about that, I'm sure. That sucks. Oh no! Yay! Is that is that it? You're done? Uh, no, no, no. No? It well, froze? I'm done because it crashed. Oh no! Or or do you have to? Ah uh, no. Oh no! Crashed on the boss. That is a very suspicious crash, because it's you at a very Vitoko, specific. You uh, think No. <laughs> no. No, not sabotage. <laughs> um, just the just the timing of it. It was when I killed the boss, and it was oh, about to go to, to the next screen. Literal yeah. kill screen. Literal kill screen. Yeah. There's a kill screen on 1942 coming up. Um, yeah. Oh, where's my wall? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to pass that over while you're. Thank playing. you. Yeah. Um, well, we gave it a good run anyway. We went made it to a boss, so mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. might be a bug there because mm -hmm. it seems like it's at a specific spot in the game. Yeah right after the boss kills. So. And there's a little red dot in the middle of the screen, uh, which is a little suspicious uh, Black dot, too. yeah. Black or red? Oh, black. I'm seeing red because of the blue. It's it's definitely a, a visual, like... Shifting your... Shift, color shift or something. What do you call that? Just after the boss, a small line appeared at the right-hand side, like a phantom second plane. Oh, oh interesting. Might be the multicolors, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. So, there you go. A bug to fix. <laughs> it is awesome. The it's additions. brilliant. It looks amazing. I... I don't know what more you can do on this game except mm. more types of waves. Mm. That's about it. I don't know how much harder it gets though, like the game. Throughout that, those levels, it seemed to be about the same level of difficulty, mm. except for the boss. The boss was, I needed to store up lives for that guy. Um, oh. So hopefully oh. it gets a little Hi. bit harder because I remember playing it last time and it didn't really progress in difficulty. Um, all the way to the end. It just was kind of the same. Um, yeah, beta testing. Yeah. We do a lot of beta testing on the show. Yeah. And find bugs. If Vitoko hacked the game so no one can... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Vitoko disconnected me from the high score club <laughs> and then hacked my game. There you because go. I'm playing it from the plus card off the server and he's altered the code oh, wow. of the server version <laughs> after he started playing it. Yeah. And then I played it and I downloaded a hacked version. There you go. No. No, no. It's all just so. theory at this point. <laughs>
Um, yeah, just more waves and more difficulty, but I can't say more difficulty because I didn't make it far enough to mm -hmm. know whether it ramps up. Uh, but one of my favorite games, I'm so happy somebody has it, ported it. It looks fantastic. And Splendid Nut has taken fantastic. it to the next level yeah, with the colors. Way to go, Splendid Nut. Yeah, super yeah. great. Ugh, I wonder if I broke that, Splendid Nut says. <laughs> oh, it's not crashed. Oh. I reset it and it's back. Oh, well, you can play some more if you want. Uh, it's a long game. It is. <laughs> we, we gave it a good run. Okay. We will play it again. Yes, of course. I think many, we will for many sure. Many times in the future. Yeah. I'll put that lid back on. Oh. Uh, many, many times in the future. Okay. You want some more? No. Let's put it on You're the screen again. There you go. All There's the awesome music. Um, so, we, uh, that was the third game. We're going to do After Dark in a few minutes. Uh, we're going to be playing Robotron 2684, Mr. Yo Yo for the high score. Nice. Not the box versions, downloadable versions, so anybody can participate in the Harmony Games. Including a hosted, hosted by Dan AVC. Yes, yes, he said it's been extended through July, right? July 27th? To the 27th. I gotcha. think. Um, hey, Dan! Still hey here! Dan. Awesome! So let's switch out the bus cart, put back in the Harmony, and get ourselves. Yeah. Ready, we'll doing but After ready. Dark for 1942. Yes, we will have to do <laughs> oh, that. Oh, yeah. July 26th. That's what I heard, too. Yeah. Oh, July 26th. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, let's Hello, see what's coming babe. up. Babe. Oh, hey, thank you, Rob Kessler. Thank you. Thank you for resubscribing. Yes. Who is... Hey, you learned that... Oh, you hit your head. Did Oh, um, did you freak him? I just touched him, and he... He snapped his, snapped oh. his head. On poor, a controller. Poor baby. You okay, baby cat? He's okay. He's bouncy. He's bouncy. <laughs> Aw. Hi. So, coming up on the show, today we had Spiders and Flies, Tanks Yay. 2022, and Yay. 1942. Yay. Three very fun games. Uh, After Dark, we're going to be with Robot War 2684, Mr. Yo Yo. Um, and then another After Dark very soon probably this week. Uh, Atari 2600th, 45th anniversary original titles playthrough, 1977 through 1978. Um, and on Friday, we have two exclusives. The exclusive final version of Keystone Coppers for the 7800. Uh, and ARTI exclusive work in progress update, both by Muddy Vision. Um, so that's going to be a big day on Friday, so you want to be there. I think he's added in seven or eight levels to Artie, which is a hero port um, for the 7800. And Keystone Coppers is the final version. It, I believe it's going to be going to cartridge for PRG. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Don't quote me on that at all. <laughs> um, later on this month, uh, we're going to be playing Pressure Gauge for the 2600 High Score uh, Showdown Season 6 which ends on July 30th, so we have to do it before July 30th. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an exclusive world premiere of Jalaga on the Jaguar. I think, oh. Uh, so it's our first exclusive Jaguar uh, stream. Oh, cool. And it's a Galaga port oh, for the Jaguar. Really? You don't see. Yes. <laughs> and it looks awesome. It looks close to like Galaga 88 slash 90. Okay. With the very detailed bugs. Bugs. And they have really cool attack patterns. Like super, super cool nice. attack patterns. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, we have exclu exclusive world premiere of Elevator Agent uh, pretty soonish. Uh, and then later on this year, Champ Games Secret Homebrew, like mm -hmm. we do every year. And Load Runner 2600, which is going to make its exciting. Uh, for debut for everyone else okay. at... Or actually, it might be released. I think the release is at PRGE okay. for Load Runner 2600. Nice. But we're going to have the exclusive world premiere here on the show. Nice. Soon enough. Very exciting. Um, and pretty soon, within the next couple weeks maybe, we're going to have an Uno Plus Cart special 
with live interviews from uh, one or more people. Nice. And some exclusive game Is it specifically for the and... Uno Plus card? Yes. Is that the idea? Okay. Using okay. that platform specifically. Okay. okay. And some really impressive stuff going on in that side of the mm -hmm. 2600 world. Uh, live interview with Old Style with the exclusive final version of Mario Brothers. I know he's kind of finalizing that. So that should be soon-ish. And another exclusive world premiere uh, by Old Style. Maybe a third one. We'll see what he feels like about that one. Developer Spotlight and Todd Fermansky whenever he's done Harpy's Curse. Uh, and a Developer Spotlight on Chris Walton. Uh, maybe we can coordinate that with the final version of uh, Zevius. Mm. I'll have to check in with him and see if he's working on that right still, now because that would be cool good. to get an update on that. Um, so huge, huge shows coming up. Um, it's very hot here. <laughs> I'm, but, I, having the cold drink is definitely uh, helping. Drink some more cold very water. smart. Uh, so thank you for hanging out with us. Dan AVC, Al Nefer, uh, Rod Kassler, Charles Whelan, um, Vitoko. Splendid Nuts, thank you for your game. Yes. Chelsea Doni Mao. And Alan Fur for the game. Yeah. Who else? Oh, Fatoko. Huge, huge ass. 79. Old style. Chelsea Doni Mao, I think you said that. Yeah. Yep. Phaser Cat Games. Ricardo Andreas. Pam, thank you for letting us play your debut your game. Andreas Capilau. Mario FS74. Right. Very nice. Um, Every Tower. Ground Trooper. Ricardo Pym, of course. Kev yeah. Kelly. Neo Media. Yeah. Oh, Rendered Ghost. Always uh, uh, hiding BR in the Pocock. background. BR Pocock. Metal Lunar. Oh, my goodness. Azure, lots of people. Lots of names. Marco AFC. Lots of names. A lot of uh, names that haven't been around yeah, in a while. Yeah, Retro Saga Games. Uh, Buck Owens. Ivory Tower Collections. Tago Carnito. I think I said that one. Uh, yeah. And that's the end of the list. Wow, thank you Hopefully all. I didn't miss any. Thank yeah, you for very joining us house. for our very cool games today. Um so yep. Yeah, a full house. Yeah. Very full people. house. So we're gonna do after dark uh ten minutes. Yeah. Take a quick break. Ooh, we have some ice cream. And I mixed it. You one mixed of, it? One of it. Yep. So it's ready for the show. Oh my goodness, how loud was it? We'll talk about it. In the yeah, we'll talk about it. <laughs> um, but we have some homemade ice cream. Yes. Mm. Uh, so stick around. Uh, we'll be back in around 10 minutes. Just check the countdown uh, for some more Atari 2600. Yes. Competitive gaming. I'm going to be trying to beat scores. So okay. Serious business. Serious business. Um, with Robot War 2684 and Mr. Yo-Yo. All right. So thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, but uh, stay watching. Yes. It won't disconnect. No. Just, just keep the stream going. Yeah. So we'll see you in a bit. And have a good YouTube, evening. YouTube or... people, just click on the next video. Yeah. Have a good Kay. evening, afternoon, morning, whatever yep. it happens to be where you are. Serious gaming. Yes. Oh, you missed me. Charles Reese. Oh, sorry, hi, Charles, Charles Reese. Reese. <laughs> there. A special hi to yes. you. Yes. Um, so we'll see you in a few. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.